Hey there, Rodrigo here for Textwise, and in this short video, I want to show you how you can how you can add a, a help screen to your textual applications. So I have in front of me a small app with a single label, and now we will be adding a help screen to this app. So what I'll start by doing is I'll Import so from textual screen I'll import a Moodle screen which will we will be using for our help screen and I'm going to define my class help screen as a Moodle screen that doesn't return anything and its compose method will show the widgets that I don't know contain the help so you might want to add instructions on how your app uses you might you might want to give links to resources that might be relevant it's going to depend on your specific app obviously in my case I'm just going to say a couple of random things so this is the help screen and I'll say I don't know you've been helped so not very imaginative a bit silly maybe and I'm going to wrap all of this around a container, make it easier to style. So with container, let's say that this is the help screen container. Let's indent this. And now what I'll do is I'll add a binding to my application so that I can open the help screen when the user types F1. And so what I'll do is show I'll call this the get help action and the short description will be a help let's also add a footer to our application so that we can see the the binding so the footer will show the binding and now let's implement the binding itself so action get help when the user presses f1 what we want to do is we want to push our help screen Right, and let's see, to close the screen, we'll add a binding so that when the user presses escape, we pop the screen. Let's see, you label, press escape to exit. Something like this, and then finally, some CSS to make this look, actually before the CSS. So let's run the application like this, yep, so let's run it. So this is my app, if I press F1, I have the help screen over here. This is the help screen, you've been helped, press escape to exit and I press escape and I exit. Now let's style the help screen to make it look a little bit better. So now what I'll, what I'll do is, let's see, so the help screen will have everything aligned center middle brilliant and then the container I don't need to do this here let's do help screen container this one will have what so let's say that the width is going to be maybe 70 percent sorry no I want the width to be out or I want there to be a max width of around 70 percent the height should be auto, but let's also restrict the height to maybe 80%. These are just values that I think look decent. Let's set the background to the panel color. What else do I need? Also, let's align things here. Now, this probably doesn't look great yet because I'm terrible at this. Actually, not too bad. So we can see there's... So the fact that we use the model screen makes it so that the background screen or the previous screen is still kind of visible on the background because the model screen has a transparent or um, not fully transparent but a transparent background and so the information goes in here in the middle let's maybe just add some padding and it should be looking much better after this one so padding to 4 f1 okay so now this looks decent of course, there's not a lot of useful information in this help screen for now, but I think this is a good start. And let's see one final thing. I like this. So this is ID exit. And so inside the container, 
let's save it the exit label has a margin at the top of one so that the yeah so that the information on how to exit the app is slightly um how do you say this in English? Well, it's not close to the to the remainder of the information. So I think I think this is it for now. It's a very simple help screen. I'm sure you can use these principles to create helpful help screens in your application. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them below. Join our Discord server to talk to us and to get help and to, to showcase what you've been building with Textual. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.